Hi everyone, thank you so much for your time this evening. Uh, we have a little presentation to you about Art Along the Ave, which is our name for the arts integration objective for the New Bern Avenue corridor in relation to the Wake Bus Rapid Transit System. Um, today it is me, I'm Dare Coulter. I'm an artist, a muralist, a sculptor, and an illustrator, and I'm the artist in residence for um, City of Raleigh, Bus County, or <laughs> not Bus County, uh, Wake County, the bus rapid transit system. Um, here with me today is my fantastic coordinator, Kelly McChesney. Say hi, Kelly. Hello, uh, Kelly McChesney. I'm public art director with the Office of Raleigh Arts at the City of Raleigh and happy to be a part of this project with DARE. Um, a little bit about the Artist in Residence project. Uh, this is the first Artist in Residence program within the City of Raleigh and it's placing an artist uh, into the design team to assist with art integration uh, with the Wake BRT program. So she has two goals on a system level. Uh, she'll be identifying canvases where art could be integrated into um, each transit stop system wide. And then along uh, New Bern Avenue, uh, she'll be working more with the community to create some of these conceptual ideas and inspiration for art integration. Yes, and with that, the question ultimately is even why do we need art in transit? Um, we are hoping to establish a sense of community um, and we're also taking this opportunity to tell stories that have yet to be told um, in relation to this area and even the city. So art is a way to have community, um, it, to, to really have community reflected in a necessary public service. Um, but beyond that, the hope is to use art as a way to activate a public space um, and to both encourage and improve transit ridership and experience. Um, for our objective across that, we've settled a good, we've settled on a good mix um, of art that is both impactful um, and long lasting and made from a variety of materials as you see um, in this in the next slides. Um, we are putting to use surfaces that will already exist within the context of the transit system um, and incorporating stuff like wayfinding and storytelling. Um, and even beyond that, we're, we're trying to make sure that we take advantage of all of the spaces that will exist in putting art in unexpected places like railings. Um, we get to use unexpected ways um, of incorporating imagery, um, like we can get color and pattern and uniqueness in other viable surfaces as well. And being intentional about it from the beginning was our objective. And now we're making sure that we reach out to ask what type of things are, are the stories and the themes that should be incorporated in the art that's going along the New Bern Avenue corridor. Um, so ultimately there's a question of whether the art is about the, the story of the area and storytelling, um, uplifting and playful imagery, if it's about gardens and nature or things like health and wellness, or even on the more modern side, education and technology or innovation and modern design. Um, but with all of those themes, the, the thing that we need to focus on now is which type of art excites you guys the most. Um, there's creative wayfinding. We have concrete integration and focusing on what's going in the ground. We can in inject technology into art. Um, we can focus on glass panes in the surrounding structure. There are fun things like glow rocks and things that can happen on the path and beside the path like light installations as well as stuff like railing and unique seating. So with that, I want to thank you guys so much for your time today. Um, we're looking forward to hearing from you in the future and the feedback that you present to make it a big part of this cohesive community experience of telling these fantastic stories along the New Bern Avenue corridor. Thank you guys so much. Be fantastic and take care.